NSFW, what's the worst thing you have witnessed on a bachelor bachelorette party? It was a combo bachelor and bachelorette party and one attendee got really drunk and wanted to leave. The hosts had collected everyone's keys to prevent drunk driving and refused to return his keys he'd willingly given up earlier. He goes outside and shortly returns with a tire iron and just starts wailing on guests at the party including bridesmaids and groomsmen. One of the other attendees grabs a big 6 cell maglite and clocks the aggressor over the head with it killing him. No charges got filed because it was deemed justified and the wedding went on as planned a few days later. I felt bad for the bride and groom because no amount of makeup was going to hide the bruises and missing teeth in the wedding photos. Had a friend hit $250k on a $5 slot machine at a Shreveport casino on his bachelor party two weeks before the ceremony. With his newfound wealth, he decided to ask his fiancé registered sign to sign a prenup. She refused. She had referred to it as our money from the first moment she heard the good news. And so, he walked away. Everyone hated him for it. He was practically excommunicated from all our social circles. 10 years later and she's filed bankruptcy twice. In hindsight he made the right decision. The strippers started fight each other and pulled out a gun lol. We had to kick them out and expedite our party bus plans. One of the guys had a what happens in Vegas idea about the whole thing and kept trying to get the groom laid. He wandered off to find a hooker. The problem is we weren't even remotely close to Vegas or a hooker for miles. So it was just an ordinary casino night but with one guy off in the background walking up to random women he assumed would sell their bodies for money. This isn't going to be anywhere near as horrific as what I'm sure most people will have to say here, but my friend invited an absolute scumbag to her hen party about 7 years ago. Her reputation was that she was trash, but she showed up like a different person and was actually very nice the whole night. She was on her best behavior, buying rounds of drinks, showing a genuine interest in conversations, the whole works. She even offered to look after the coats and bags while we got up to dance. Halfway through the first song we all turned around to find her rifling through everyone's belongings. She locked eyes with us while she had one hand full of banknotes and the other full of someone's cigarettes. She wasn't at the wedding. Whole party got drunk. Best man admitted to having slept with the bride. Massive bar fight followed. Groom lost one of his front teeth. The wedding still happened. But he kept his mouth shut in all the pictures. Best man was nowhere to be seen and the title was given to the groom's other brother. Edited because people seem to have an issue with the word ensued. The best man got pissed drunk at breakfast and ate an entire banana without peeling it. And I've questioned if there is a god ever since. When I left a wedding reception to go to another event I asked my friends to watch out for my younger brother. My friends were drunk and they dared my brother to go knock on some limo's window that drove by. He did. Then he ran away. Then a bunch of girls opened the door and told him to come back. So he did. Then the limo drove off with my brother in it. It was a bachelorette party. My friends freaked out because they were supposed to watch my brother and he just hopped in some stranger's car that drove away. The girls in the car got my brother to eat a lifesaver off the bachelorette's nipple. Then they showed him a picture of the huge guy she was marrying the next day. He was scared for a week some guy was going to find him and beat him up. My buddy's bachelor party was set to be pretty tame. No strip clubs or casinos or anything like that. He just wanted to get these massive burgers from the local burger joint walking distance from his condo and play Rio Kart 64. So after we had all stuffed our faces from these ridiculous Mondo burgers, we sat down divided up the teams, and each person would drain one beer per lap, then exchange controllers. Every single person ended up puking immediately. Once the toilet, sink, and kitchen sink were full, people were throwing up all over the place, running around looking for the least damaging spot to spew. It was obscene. We had an ongoing rule through the weekend that if you were holding a pint, and someone managed to get a nominated coin into it, you had to down it immediately. It was, I think, a Brazilian real. Whatever it was, it was a big old coin. Significant diameter and a good, sturdy thickness. Anyway, one of the chaps ended up swallowing the coin along with the beer. I'll never forget the look of realization on his face. And I can imagine the other look on his face a couple of days later. Have strippers come over, 
They are not strippers but escorts. Arid dude ducks escort as the other girl is getting slapped by ping pong paddles in the ass upstairs in a good fight. Next day I have to sit in car and drive home with guilt stricken married guy. At a bachelorette party where the stripper dipped his D in chocolate and went around to each woman expecting someone to give it a taste. Everyone refused. This was my brother's bachelor party. There was a group of about 16 of us who got a private room in a local, itty, strip club. A guy who I'll call Ed showed up, but was not invited. He was a childhood friend of my brother, but as an adult Ed had some issues, like 5 kids from 4 different mothers, and general poor decision making. Anyway, within the first hour, two strippers start giving us a show. They are seemingly getting really into it and start 69-ing each other. Vigorously, Ed proceeds to kneel behind the woman on top in the 69 and licks her ass. He screams to the giant bouncer they had stationed in the private room with us Jimmy. This guy just licked my asshole. Jimmy responds hey, no asshole licking, and violently drags him out. Finn. Probably has to be my friend's bachelor party. We went to a casino, where he got very drunk. Ended up blowing thousands of dollars that night and he didn't seem to realize what he had done until the next morning. He was unemployed at the time and the money he spent was supposed to go towards their honeymoon. I haven't talked to him in a while but I'm pretty sure he got a divorce. Girl I went to high school with didn't want her husband to have some random stripper at his party that will probably give him some disease. So instead she got her little sister, 20 at the time, to dance at the party instead. Not because she could trust her sister to not screw her husband, but because she knew her sister didn't have any diseases. Yeah. Little sister stripped, then gave him a BJ, then got on top and ducked him, in front of all the other guys. We just watched in silence. It wasn't erotic, but more of a curiosity. So glad this got asked. I was at my buddy's bachelor party in Montreal. His thing was relatively tame. However, as we're walking from the strip club to the bar, we end up behind a bunch of college girls who came up from the states to drink. They're all dressed in their club gear and completely hammered. I see one particularly wobbly young woman wearing incredibly high heels. She takes a misstep and rolls her ducking ankle so bad her shin touches the sidewalk. She straight up broke her leg but was so drunk she kept on trucking. I run up to one of the more sober looking members of her group and I'm like your friend just broke her leg. Unfortunately she and her friends think I'm trying to pick them up. I'm like I'm married and 10 years older than you. But you should probably take care of your friend. Meanwhile the injured woman's leg is already swelling up. Also, at my bachelor party, the strip club we went to ended up being the venue for the micro wrestling federation so instead of boobies I got little person wrestling. My friends also got a store clerk to detain me for shoplifting as a prank. I watched my boss covered in lube, being ridden around the club like a horse, by a stripper with a belt around his neck acting as the reins. Safe to say our office dynamic has altered somewhat. There were strippers who came to the hotel room and were getting most of the guys super horny. They left and everyone got super drunk and people passed out. I was laying down but still awake when I noticed a head bobbing up and down. I slowly turn and open my eyes and the groom is blowing the best man. The best man taps his shoulder and gives an O face and the groom doesn't stop. Then after the best man is done coming, the groom takes the best man's D and makes sure he got all the cum by licking what was left of it off of his D. I will never forget that image. The best man then pulls up his pants and they go to sleep. I meanwhile am freaking out in my head while I am laying there. I didn't sleep. Didn't tell anyone about it until now. On mine right now. Nothing crazy but my baby sister brought a crock pot. She is now making chili in my hotel room. Well not really a bachelorette party. More of a shower given by my soon to be in laws. Lots of conservative. Friendly. Polite church ladies. It was very thoughtful of them and they gave us lots of sweet gifts. And just about everyone gave us one of those little kitchen towels. As things were winding down I said. Ro. You must think newlyweds make a lot of messes that require dish towels. Huh. Everyone started blushing and looking away and I cringed. So. Hard. I was deeding for my friend's bachelor party. I jammed four drunk marines into a 2013 Yaris. And we hit the road. Eventually we ended up at a CD strip club. Things are going okay. 
drinks were surprisingly affordable, and we were the only people in the joint. Eventually a different dancer stumbles through the door and is aggressively trying to get someone to buy a dance from her. Nobody is interested as she was as she was definitely not on the A squad. She talks my buddy and his younger brother into seeing a trick and proceeds to without out warning squirt a bottle of water up her V and then spray it on them. Edit. No. Not the driftwood. They had all finished their service. I was in Vegas for a bachelor party about a month ago. We pulled up to a car table on Saturday night and found another group of guys who were there for a bachelor party so we got to talking. We asked which one of them was the bachelor and they kinda laughed then said. Well. He got arrested earlier today. Apparently. He got arrested for having some fun powder at a day party and tried to fight security. They said they couldn't see him until Monday after he saw a judge so they planned to continue with the party until they could see him. Ultimately. The dealer was this Russian woman with a thick ass accent was listening and said. Wait. He got arrested for sugar? I thought this was Vegas. That's bullet. I don't know what ended up happening with him. But that's who My friend's bachelor party in Chicago. We held it in my friend's place of business. A lounge. After hours. They hired two stippers which were actually prostitutes. They come in with a huge dude packing a big ass gun in his belt. He sits down and smokes blunts the entire time. The girls literally went around the room giving everyone blowjobs. Like not in private. But just going in a circle. My one buddy decided he's going to eat the stripper's ass while she's giving head. This is like 5 minutes into the party. Everyone is sober. I'm in shock. My turn comes around and I want nothing to do with it. The stripper says I can take her in back and have a six instead if I want. I respectfully decline. Eventually she gets to the groom and he doesn't really seem into it either. Peer pressure gets to him and he reluctantly gets a blowjob in the bathroom. All my friends make him open the door so they can watch a stripper sit on a toilet and give him head while they talk to him the whole time. At this point I'm chit chatting the security guy on the couch. They end the show by sticking roman candles in their ass and pussy. And put on a fireworks show. Imagine two naked women on their back with roman candles in each hole. Sitting across from each other shooting fireworks at their naked bodies. Yeah. Then they go down on each other and my booty munching friend goes back for round 2. That's when I decided I'd had enough and pack it in. You can't make this it up. We were chilling out at a bar. Just dancing and drinking when about half of the guys in the bachelor party just get soaked. We all turn around to find this guy in a standoff with two girls. One of whom had just thrown a drink at him. We're just standing there confused when the second girl, this tiny Asian thing, grabs a beer bottle off a nearby table and fastballs it at this guy. It was the best throw I've seen. She nailed him right in the head full strength from 20 plus feet away in a crowded bar. His head split open and the two girls took off running. Eventually the bouncers came and were asking him and everyone which guys did this and if they were still here and we got to explain it was this 5 foot nothing Asian girl with a cannon of an arm. They seemed pretty amused and less angry after that. We went out to eat. Then we went to an arcade that was nearby. While there, the groom to be's future wife showed up with her bachelorette party. There was sake ball, claw machines, and so much more. Good times had by all. Sigh. Side note, their wedding was outside. It rained. My wife farted loudly during it. I'd say my best friend's husband's bachelor party. We went to Vegas and got home from the club around 4am. We rode the elevator up with a hooker. Groom went to bed and 6 of the groom's men took turns banging the hooker. I went to bed in another room and didn't participate in the shenanigans. Woke up at 8am to use condoms everywhere and a video of them all taking turns. Another groom's men walked in at 9am saying he won 800 bucks on craps and needed to sleep because he'd done a ton of coke earlier and should probably get some sleep. One of the GFS of the groomsmen found out and told the other's wives. Wedding had great cake though. The stripper was pregnant. Not oh she's got a little baby bump pregnant. She was flat out oh god I hope she doesn't deliver during this dance pregnant. There were a few guys that were really into it too. Which is whatever. Everyone has their kinks. I was second choice for the best man. Which I didn't mind. Less work for me. So I wandered over to the actual best man. Who I was friends with and struck up a conversation. Me. Hey. This beer is great. And you did a great job with the food and liquor too. Him. 
Thanks man. Me. Suudart did you notice the stripper is like 11 months pregnant? Him. Shut up. Turns out that he was trying to cut some expenses and found a friend. That knew a friend. That knew a friend. That knew of this girl that stripped really cheap. After she was done dancing. Including the one on one dance with the groom. She started propositioning guys. Her and some of the guys would disappear randomly. I don't know exactly what happened and I never asked because I really didn't want to know. I didn't see it. But my co-worker told me about it. His brother was getting married and they hired some stripper hooker for the night. He said cut to a couple hours later and they all were in a circle with their dice out. As she's blowing them one after the other. I think what made the story much more memorable to me was how elated he was to tell me. With a big smile on his face laughing. I got two. First one was a gay friend threw a bachelor party for our non-gay friend. Gay friend had a playlist for the night and everything. Stripper shows up dances for 15 minutes. Then the next song was smack my itch up she left soon after. We are all pretty harmless but I get it. Second story was that we did a camping trip as a bachelor party. Hired a stripper to come out to the campground and do a show in the back of an RV. For being not in a major city and at a campground. The stripper was surprisingly awesome. A bunch of guys were doing coke off her titties. By the end of the night the stripper ended up doing coke off of my buddy's airy man boob. In an RV with like 12 guys crammed in there. Fun stuff. Full stop.